I took a look over on that field about five minutes ago. I see a little bit of grass coming up. The grass that I had drilled, I see it coming up just a little bit. I, it should start coming up here in about two more days. I would say uh, it rained about two and a half days ago. So I would think that somewhere on day five, I will start seeing grass germinating on the field. I got a lot of crabgrass back there right now, which it's fine. I mean, crabgrass, these animals, if I, if I let animals out on crabgrass, they would eat it and it would have nutritive value to it. And also crabgrass, when it gets cold, it dies. So it ain't a big deal. It's about to start getting cold here in a few months. But this animal with the drooling problem, I think she's getting a little bit better. She's getting a little bit better every day. Yeah, because I, I ain't seen a... There was literally like a like a pool of drool in the feed bin. That's how bad she was drooling. But I think she had just cut her mouth on something. It, was a, it wasn't very severe. And so uh, I think I think it's getting better. I think she's doing okay. If she, if she doesn't if she didn't get better, I'd have to take her to the to the to the doctor. But I think she's doing okay. I, I think it's getting better. She ain't drooling. She ain't drooling severely. She she is drooling a little bit, but she ain't drooling severely. But this morning, okay. So yesterday, I thought I only had two hay bales left, but I actually got three, which is very very fortunate. Um, I had miscounted. And so I have about enough hay left over for maybe uh, just about a week and a half. But about, uh, oh, how long has it been? It's probably been about a month. I ordered a whole bunch of corn. I got a, about, I ordered like $3,500 worth of corn. And I would say I still probably have about uh, 2,800. I still probably have about three quarters of it left. I probably still have about like, like $2,800 worth of corn left. I still got a lot of corn. And so right now, these animals, when I've been feeding them, I've been giving them their protein and their fiber and uh, through, I've been giving the protein and the fiber through the soybean hay, as well as, as a good bit of calcium. Uh, but I've been giving them uh, their protein and their fiber through the soybean hay, and then I've been looking to reduce the amount of protein in in the forage by increasing the while also increasing the amount of tdn in their diet by providing corn and so the soybean hay has about a 60 percent tdn 16 percent protein and the uh the the corn has a uh has eight nine percent protein and a and a, about a 90 percent tdn and i've been looking to decrease the amount of protein in their diet while increasing the amount of tdn by blending the soybean hay and the uh and the forage and so right now but that that's one thing that i kind of in the future um i would rather utilize the grain to provide the protein and the tdn and then use the uh the the roughage as a uh as a kind of a buffer to the feed and so i in the future like if i can get a grass hay that is 55 percent tdn and eight percent protein that is the kind of grass that i would like to buy usually grass is grass is cheap grass rolls are cheap and so i would rather utilize grass hay that is eight percent tdn Oh, excuse me, 8% protein and 55% TDN, somewhere between 50 and 55% protein, and then have to blend it with a grain, like distiller's grain, that is 30% protein and uh, and like 104% TDN. I would rather do that than be in a situation where I have the forage and these animals are obtaining their protein through the forage and, if, and the protein is, and excuse me, and the hay is also relatively high in TDN. Because then I get stuck in a situation where when the animals grow, when the animals get to a certain size and I need to have their protein reduced to like 12, 13%, I'm sitting in that area where I have to put so much corn in their diet that it is, it is causing the TDN to go up too high. And so these animals are having to consume a feed that is a, a TDN, a level of TDN that is causing acidosis in them. And I'm kind of stuck in a rough spot 
but one thing that I can do is I can let the animals out on grass. And when the animals go out and eat grass, they uh they get to pick and choose. I got a lot of a lot of different types of grass out there right now. I got like a lot of brush and stuff, so they can they can chew on the brush and get that fiber in them, and, and it'll clear out their gut. But uh, in the future. Because there are situations at times, like one month, uh, uh, one month uh, spans where uh, I actually don't have any grass. So uh, the, the weather turns real bad. Uh, the weather turns on me, and I don't have any grass. And then I have to start feeding these animals a total mixed ration. And when I have to feed these animals a total mixed ration, all of the food that they're eating is being. Uh, I'm providing all of the food that they're eating. All of it. And so, yep, uh, but also one more thing. I'm going to see if she's drooling real fast. Oh, yeah, but I guess, I guess her drooling got better. Oh, no, she's still drooling a little bit. You see this right here? You see all this with this water right here, this, this mucus-like stuff? That That's her. She drooling. But it, it was way worse than that a couple of days ago. So she she is improving. She is improving. But that, that's her drooling right there. But uh, But it's gotten better. Oh, man. I forgot what I was talking about. Yeah, but that's that's her. I think she cut her mouth, but it's okay. These these small little calves, the smaller the animal is, the more likely they are to develop mouth problems when they get put on grass. And so I was thinking about it and I was like, man, maybe I should have took the uh the brush hog and just chopped the uh chop chopped it all to the ground, but uh, I can do that if, if need be. Here in about till I would say about nine days now, I'll be bringing in more animals. I think I'm going to be taking. All, I, I I took a I, I took a look at the things that what like well, what should I do? And I think I'm going to take uh, all of the animals except for the black Angus heifers. I think I'm going to take them to market, and I'm just gonna and I'm just gonna take them to market, and uh, I'm just gonna keep the black Angus heifers. I actually made so much money this year. That I'm able to purchase all black Angus heifers, or I'm able to purchase all black Angus animals. So, uh, I know that if I go to the sale barn and I buy them, I know if I go to the sale barn and I pick and choose through animals that I can get my an I can get animals for cheaper. But having uniform animals, having a straight black Angus, uh, uh, having straight black Angus animals, uniform looking. The, I, I can also make a little bit of extra money doing that so i don't really have to worry about it uh i i, well, I mean uh it is things there are things that i need to uh that i need to account for that i need to be diligent about but i don't worry about things i don't worry about things i do my best and when i do my best uh i leave it at that oh yeah i mean you know when I take a look at what I'm doing right, I mean, I'm obviously doing very well for myself. Why would I, uh, why would I put myself in this, uh, in a, uh, in a loop of being worried about everything, right? I'm just not going to do that. But these black Angus heifers, these are, uh, these, these are the ones that I'm going to keep. Animals like this, these black Angus heifers, she right there. That's my small little calf. She, she put on a little bit of size here recently, so... But she's still small. Look, look at how small she is next to her sister. <laughs> but it's all right. I'll be bringing in 50 animals like this. Oh, I, th I think uh, this is the one that doesn't. Yeah, she won't let me touch her. But these black Angus heifers, they're they're, uh, they're 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 gentle. The small, small, small one. This one right here, she actually kicks at me. But I think she kicks at me because when she was small and she had that pink eye real bad, I tried to grab her. And. Uh, because she wouldn't go into the uh, into the working pen, and she was small, and, and I tried to grab her, and uh, she got in the, in the freaked her out real bad. But that that's the, that's the thing is that once you like once you grab these animals, oh, uh, but she she lets me pet her sometimes. But this is one of her sisters too. These animals they they they're they're good looking, and you know uh, I pay for them and I buy them and I'll bring them in. But I need to get some grass. I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need grass, and I'm gonna need to. I'm gonna need to bring some hay. I'm gonna need to bring in some hay before I before I uh, bring in these new animals. My hay should be grown in in about two days. If my hay does not start coming up in two days, I got a problem. Uh, but I mean, I've already. I already see a little bit of it coming up. 
I already see a little bit of it coming up in the very front where I had drilled the seed, and so I think I'm okay. Uh, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just have to see. And it's not a big problem, you know. Uh, I had a lot of birds back there, and they, they've been eating on the seed. And if it turns out that I got a whole bunch of uh, bald patches out, out back there, I'll just, I'll just redrill it. It'll only take a maybe a three bags of seed. It only cost me about sixty bucks, forty-five bucks. And so it ain't that big of a deal. But these animals, all of these animals, except for the black Angus heifers, the seven black Angus heifers, I think they're all going to go to market here pretty soon. Uh, maybe next week or so. Princess will probably have to go to the processor. And, uh, or I'll either, either take Princess to the processor or I'll take her to the sale barn and just get what I can on her. But I may even, uh, I, I may, I may even end up selling Slowpoke. I may just end up taking them to the, to the market, but I'll have to see. But well, yep, I did. But uh, I did make enough money here to to buy all Black Angus animals. Uh, you know, uh, if I if I bought animals from the sale barn, I could probably get them for five hundred fifty. Uh, for like the uh like uh, off breed animals, right? Like the Brahma crosses and and stuff like that. And, I mean, I'm not talking about like the uh the the top top sale barn cattle. I'm talking about animals that I can just make some money on. I could probably bring them in for uh five hundred uh five hundred fifty bucks. But if I buy these uh these black angus heifers they're not even steers if i buy them as uh, as has heifers if i bought steers i could probably buy for five, uh, about 550 but i don't know i, I ain't uh I, I ain't really gonna taking a look uh, here recently at the sale barns but I'll, I'll be paying 750 an animal and i'll be bringing in 50 uniform animals uh but i mean that's that's the plan unless unless something changes on his end that makes him uh, change out on uh, change his mind on the deal. Uh, if if it was up to me, I'd be, I I would buy the animals here in about ten days. But if, if if the other if the other party changes their mind, I can't do anything about that, and then I'll have to figure something out. And I may just go through a broker. I gotta start bringing in animals. I'm gonna go right back to fifty animals. You know, uh, before I had these animals, uh, before I had started selling animals, I had forty five animals on this field. And when, even when I have 40, 45 animals on this field, it, 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 it doesn't look like there are many animals on this field, especially when they're small. You know, because when I bring them in, they're, they're going to be like uh, maybe just a little bit smaller than this right here. Maybe even about her size. And so these, you see what I'm saying? These animals are not big. When I, when I first bring them in, they're not big. They're, they're, they're real small. And so that's it for me today, YouTube. Y'all have a good one.